Actually, in my private practice, I use digital workflow for implant dentistry and for fixed prosthodontic. In implant dentistry, I need first to, to obtain the STL file through intraoral scanner or inside the patient mouth or extraoral through the models. Then send the patient to take a DICOM, which is the Combium CT scan, merge it, and produce the, the surgical stent, and then mill it or print it. This, this is for the implant dentistry. For the fixed, I use it mainly for inlay, onlay, and single crowns. The benefits a lot for the patient and for me also, but mainly for the patient, first, this discomfort for the patient because we don't use material. This material, sometimes some patient has a gag reflex, so he like refuse the material or sensitivity or allergy for this material. But when you scan, this is a scan without powder or scan, it took like five minutes and the patient will go out of the office. This is the first thing. The second thing is like the time. When you consider like taking the conventional way, we have taken impression, put retraction cord, discomfort for the patient, put the temporary, send the patient back home, and he will come after one week to, to deliver the crown. For the digital workflow, we can scan it, design it, mill it within one hour, and deliver it to the patient, especially for the patient that are coming abroad from different country, and we, they are in a business trip, or they are um, just visiting this city for one, for one week, we can deliver, uh, we can provide the, 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 this facility for them. So saving time and less discomfort for the patient. Going digital for me and your team mainly about the quality, about efficient in the work, we start gradually to shift from conventional way to digital. We don't need to get all the things or the, the tools of the digital at one time. We're starting with the scanner, because the scanner is responsible for the STL file that we can send it to the technician that he have the, the software either the implant or the uh, for the uh, implant uh, the implant software or the software for the inlay or the only but most of the software they have the inlay and only we start getting the dicom which is the com beam ct scan and gradually we'll go for the printing machine or milling machine so the, to be more efficient and going digitally step by step we uh, we, we start take, uh, getting the uh, the scanner Last year, getting the Combeam 6 scan. Next year, maybe the milling or the printing machine. Actually, there is a, diff like a, a different kind of material, but mainly I use the CAD Emax lithium disilicate, which is in a blue stage, or we call it pre-centered. This is like, it is in less strength when we send, uh, and after centering, it will be gain more st uh, strength. So it is easy to mill. And functional wise, marginal adaptation, fitting, aesthetic even is good. There is a different material like Vita Block Mark II, but less strength than the Emax. Usually I prefer the Emax, CATC. Actually, the first step that I advise all my colleagues is to have a well-trained technician. We need a well-trained technician. If you get busy, so he can manage the digital workflow for you. It's not, an, uh, it's not mandatory to get all the tools of the digital at the same time. As I mentioned, you can scan it, send it to the technician. If he well-trained with the digital dentistry, he can design it, he can mail it. And if you download the team viewer so we can discuss on the phone and discuss on the, uh, in the, any apps, uh, modification of the treatment plan. So my advice is to start with a scanner, get familiar with the scanner, then move to the next step, how to read the Combeam CT scan. Once you understand it, get it. To go to the next step, the milling machine. There is two types of production of the uh, guided or the milling, adding or removing. Once you understand it, get your milling, milling machine. Because if you use the Emacs CAD, Actually, you have to put it in the furnace after you mill it. So this is need a calibration of the, uh, of the furnace. So go step by step. Don't get all the tools at the same time and find a well-trained technician to help you.